Hi, in this video of WPF, we are going to discuss about the user controls. Basically, whenever we work in a big application using WPF, we may come across a situation like we are going to use some controls similarly in multiple windows. For example, if as a security purpose, I want to put the login for the maybe the admin or for maybe the end user, we will use the text boxes, password box, button, labels to form the login form, right? Now, if I want to reuse that particular login form in multiple windows, I can simply set it as a user control. So basically what we are going to do here, we are going to create a window which in which we will put some predefined controls and will deploy it as the user control and later whenever it is required i can use this partial window and a main window so that we can consume the functionality of this user control so let's see a practical implementation to find how this user control can be created so as just now in the description i gave an example of the login form so here in my main window i have designed the login form with the username password and a submit button and here is the grid which you can check in the xaml now if i want to make this whole as a user control so what will i do first i will go to the solution explorer and here I can add any new item like red, just right click over the project name let's say add and here you can see the user control alright but rather than putting it here to make it more modular I will first add a new folder for all the user controls I will make because in an application you can make n number of user controls then again right click over and say add user control and as soon as your window will pop up here you can find a number of options all right so here what i will do i will go to the user control wpf all right here you will also find the wpf but it's a cs file all right means it will contain the c sharp code rather i will just go for the xaml all right means the wpf so here we have user control wpf all right so let's name it like login.xaml let's say add and inside you can see everything is as similar just here rather than window you have user controls so similarly whatever you have seen so far with the uh, windows like you used to use the resources like windows.resources here will, here you will go for user control dot anything like whether allow drop or whatever resources whatever all right so it's just the difference otherwise you can treat this particular control as same as the normal window it's just a difference like it will not be able to execute by its own you will have to render this particular form to some window all right so what i'll do i'll just come to this xaml and whatever is here inside the grid i will just cut this up from here and I will paste that all inside this grid all right so you can see it is looking like the same okay so this is for now this is my control all right so I can just uh, resize this hole so just I will drag it all right so that it will be resized to the particular height and width I require okay so after making all the required changes you can see all the changes have been reflected in the XAML as well all right so whatever the height and width I have set it is now up to that itself so let's build my application so that all the changes will be reflected so that I will be able to use this user control so so far there is no problem in that now if I'll come back to my design you can see there is nothing out here so what will I do I will try to keep my uh, control to here so what will I do I will come to my XAML again uh, I have created my application uh, means that user control inside the folder called user controls all right so there is a folder called user controls I will just add that as well so that I can refer to that one all right and ra rather I'll just remove this because we can have only one local alright so now 
inside here what I'll do I will say local login you see automatically it appears out here alright so let's come to the design here and you can see I got that the reason why I reside that uh, control because I wanted to make it like this itself alright so this is how I, ju I just dragged that one and it is coming as a unit similarly you can just use the complete control in the multiple windows as a user control to ensure the reusability of it